Find the solution to the given differential equation y double prime plus y equals zero. So first we need to create our auxiliary or characteristic equation where r represents the amount of derivatives being taken on the variable y. So y double prime would be r squared, y with no prime would just be one, but if there were y with one prime then it would just be r. And we set that equal to zero. So to get the root we have to set r squared equal to negative one by bringing it to the right hand side. And the only thing we can do at this point is take the square root of both sides. So that leaves us with r equal plus minus square root of negative one. And of course, we all know that the square root of negative one is i, so r equals plus minus i. This means that r1 equals negative i, and r2 equals positive i. In the case that r has a complex component, we put it in the general form r equals alpha plus minus beta i where alpha is the real component and beta is the coefficient of the non-real component. So in this case, we can quickly tell that alpha equals zero since there is no real component here. However, there is technically a coefficient for i where it's just plus minus one. So we just set beta equal to one because one times i is still i and no matter what you want a beta, beta can never be zero. So in this situation, y homogeneous equals e to the alpha t times c one cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. c1 and c2 allow for infinite solutions, and we can see in this situation that e to the alpha t is equivalent to e to the zero times t, which is e to the zero, and that equals one, as any number to the power of zero equals one. So this converts to one, so we can just get rid of this factor here, so c1 cosine of beta equaling one, so cosine t plus c2, sine t. And that's it. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.